Hey everybody, Eric here from Nomadic Fanatic. Hope you guys are doing well. We got old Vanna White and Miranda here in the front yard and we're doing some more uh, van stuff today. Want to get you caught up on a few things, some exciting news, some other projects going on with getting the van roadworthy. I know Miranda looks sad over there. It's almost like she's looking at me like, really, you're gonna leave me here at base camp for a year? Well, waiting on parts. Sorry, lady. Thanks for joining me guys. I will be uploading this video with some Nomad internet. Link below if you need some mobile unlimited internet, which I'm gonna be taking with me in the van. For projects today, we are sanitizing this tank. I've been uh, measuring the space on top for solar panels, been talking with Wayne about that. Unfortunately, I'm having a little bit of a problem finding stock on Amazon and other places. Uh, again, due to COVID related shutdowns last year, um, there's certain things that you just can't do right now. You can't get the parts. So this solar project is kind of, it's all over the place, it's scrambled, but I'll, I'll get back to that later. I'm just doing some measurements. I wanna show you the inside, but what I pulled out, I pulled out this homemade dresser system that the previous owners installed. I actually had removed this temporarily for my reveal video, but then I didn't have anywhere to put it, so I put it back in. It's got the curve, you know, because of the van wall like that, and it is so incredibly heavy, it's crazy. But it's a really cool invention. Uh, he put these little dowels on, on the side and you just pop those out and that's how you get access to all these drawers. So for them, this was more important than a shower. For me, not gonna work. I need that shower. And I am lucky that I actually found a camper van where someone did not remove the shower completely. Let me show you the progress in here. By the way, I will just mention the rooftop air conditioner is not working. It is blowing some air, but it's not cold air anymore. More on that later. So the shower area here, you can see I've added a, a, a nice curtain that kind of blends in with the other turquoise colors there. This is this piece right here. I don't actually like it because it's clear, but it goes around the base of the air conditioner to uh, close off the bathroom so that people don't see you through the front windshield. So that's different. This slides out and I will show you. So we've got the normal shower head with an on off button there. And I don't like, really like the yellow color of the tub. Let me move this over. I don't like the yellow color of the tub itself, but um, I was having trouble figuring out it at first because you turn these and it just pours the water here. And I'm like, how do you get this to pour water? I had to actually watch a YouTube video. So once you turn the water on here, you actually pull this up like that. That is what initiates water to come out of this and then you can turn it on and off. But you know, it's not a huge shower, but it's absolutely necessary to have one if you're going to full time in a van. So this shower drains directly into my gray tank. The toilet goes into the black tank. And of course the sink up here goes to the gray tank as well. Today's project as I've lifted up the couch and jackknife bed is to sanitize this tank. And if you saw my last video, we had some antifreeze, pink antifreeze going through. I have sanitized this a little bit more. Water's still up there about three quarters of the way. So I'm gonna drain a little bit out of this and then we're gonna add the bleach and go for a drive. I just opened up the low spout to get a little bit of the water out of there. You don't need those fancy chemicals they sell at the store. This is my water tank. I'm gonna put a funnel right here and insert my bleach right into there. There's a ton of other videos out there, so I'm not gonna show you this process, but I'm gonna put the right amount of bleach in there, add a little bit more water to get the bleach all the way down that funnel. Then we're gonna go for a drive and it's gonna be bouncing and shaking and sloshing around, making sure the bleach chemical gets up to the top of the tank that I just showed you in there. And then we're gonna go somewhere that has full hookups, probably a state park nearby and pay for their dump station so that I can re-sanitize and get all the bleach out of the tank and the lines. All right, got the bleach put in there. I turned on every faucet and flushed the toilet to make sure I smelled bleach coming through the lines. So we should be good, ready for our drive. Um, I've had some people say, you know, Eric, you're gonna miss not traveling with the car and you know it's gonna be so difficult to leave but, but that's the cool thing about a camper van is that it still is your daytime adventure spot so let's pretend I'm at a campground right now it really wouldn't be that hard to leave really you would just unhook your sewer cap and leave it at camp and these camper vans don't have a long cord that needs to be brought back into the RV you just twist it unplug leave it on the ground 
ready to go. And in most campgrounds, that's going to be okay to leave your, your sewer on the ground there. Maybe you want to put a cap on the end that sticks into your RV and, and your cord will be there fine. So we're ready to go. Let's go drive around. I was originally going to get rid of this passenger seat over here, but the fact that it rotates around like that, it's such a comfortable place to sit. It's, a, it's worth leaving, man. I'm definitely going to leave that and then also have the uh, couch seating behind me. So um, got to figure out a new place for the litter box since I'm keeping the passenger seat here. I just leave it turned around and then I got to pop, pop that back so I can still see the uh, side mirror. But it works. Well, I stopped in here to dump my tanks and uh, they had a cancellation. So I'm plugged in, dumped my tanks, still got uh, sanitizing the uh, freshwater tank. It's probably still got a little bit of bleach in there, uh, but I got a nice little corner spot here. I do have my new sunshade on there. It's by Bouge RV. It's got magnets and stuff in it. I wouldn't do that if I were boondocking. I would just put the shades up inside, but if I'm in a camp, in an actual proof campground, it just makes everything easier. It's good, it's good, it's good. Got the kitties uh, in the RV, the, the other RV with air conditioning and food supplies. I am gonna spend the night here and really have my first campground hookup thing. It's nice to have power since I don't have batteries or solar or anything like that. I like sitting up here in the passenger seat and facing this way, trying to think of how to put it all together. Like, where do I want to put a TV? I mean, if I were going to use the couch, which comes out to a full bed, if I were going to use the couch to sit, maybe you'd want it up there in the window. But if I'm going to do most of my seating right here with this cool little pop-up table for my laptop and stuff, maybe I would want to put the TV right there like a little 12 inch 14 inch tv i don't know or maybe take down that rack and put it right there or something so just kind of feeling it out and i think the more i spent the more time i spend in here the more i'll kind of figure all that stuff out look at this view outside my van living in a van down by the river well it's actually a lake but yeah in my very next video we're gonna have both kitties in here the cats have not been in here at the same time we have only been having one cat in here at a time while I'm doing projects and stuff. So um, the litter box was going to go where I'm sitting right here, but now got to find a new home. And one of the things that's definitely leaving eventually is this furnace. Just a huge waste of space, completely inefficient. You know, when all you need is a little wave Olympian the size, the size of this. Actually, it's even smaller than that. And it'll just mount right here to a piece of wood and go into the same propane line. But that thing goes all the way back we go behind here there it is even back there oh by the way there's the table i don't think i shared that but the table and the mount that thing plugs in right there in the floor but it's useless to me because it blocks off the whole area and you can't get back to the bathroom so but yeah where else could i put a litter box i haven't decided what i'm going to do with this area guess you got all this up here somebody put in a little pipe hanger to hang a bunch of clothes right there but I guess temporarily that's probably where I'm going to put the litter box. Just take out this. I don't know what the point of that really is. But put the litter box here. I also thought about utilizing the shower space for it. You know, because van life, you shower like once every other day, you know. And uh, if I could have it there and then be able to just move it to the toilet while I take a shower. And then after the shower, move it back to, you know. So I'm just thinking about stuff. That's the water heater. I do have a new water heater coming because don't have any hot water right now and then moving back this space is all water tank so that, that water tank is runs from about the edge of the tub right there all the way back to halfway through this stops right about where this pillar is and then this is all empty right here which is going to be battery storage and charge controller and uh the inverter and everything but future projects future projects yeah in the meantime my showers <laughs> yeah the old baby wipes. It feels weird without the kitties, though. I do miss them. I just saw them an hour ago, but van life, y'all. What do you think of van life? This is fun, man. Living in a van full time. Well, I'm not full time yet, but when I do hit the road officially and leave base camp with the van and the van only, maybe maybe an e-bike or something, uh, it's just going to be living full time in the van. And when I come back to base camp, again, I don't have a bed in the house. I don't live at the house. I don't even sleep in the house. I sometimes shower in the house, but I'm still going to be living in the van full time for quite some time. And this is exciting. Also, you know, I'm five foot five, so I'm a, sh I'm a shorter guy, but um, how much room do I have from my head to the ceiling? about 12 inches, about a whole foot here. 
it does get a little narrower in the back by the air conditioner about three or four inches right right there but i really like this setup I'm, I'm holding the camera here exactly at my eye level so i'm five foot five this is my eye level so you can see these these windows up top even at night you don't really need to cover them because people can't see you they can see you through these windows so i cover all all that stuff but these windows up here i can't see any, any of the other campers from my eye level now if i raise the camera up of course you can see out there or maybe get on my tippy toe. No, I still can't really see the campers on my tippy toes up there. But I probably won't be closing these at night unless I'm stealth camping. There's also a curtain that goes across that top. And this cab over area, I'm still looking, but I want to find the best suitable storage bins up here for storing like boxers and socks and winter clothes and jeans and shorts and stuff like that. You know, and there's a there's a lip here, but I want to make sure that it could still fit so I could pull it up and out and use this for storage. But also. I'm thinking about putting a little kitty ramp right here. They can just, how's that go again? They can just walk up here and Jax can have some privacy from Tara. Or Tara can come up here when Jax is being a pain, you know? So, yep, yep. Got my Nomad internet hooked up here with a shot there so I can get some good Wi-Fi. I'm using my Jackery 1000 right now on DC there because I don't have solar yet. All right, first official van meal. What's it, oh, we don't have any food. I thought I got something. Hang on. Oh, we got Pringles. By the way, if you're in an RV and you like chips, I highly recommend you get these Pringles ones. They're so compact volume. They don't, you know, it's not a whole bunch of wasted space of a bag of chips that would take up all four of these cans of Pringles right here. Anything like this that's really compact and it's done that way on purpose is great for RVs, but okay, I got some of these ready meals. There's Swedish meatball. Oh, wait a minute. Over here, mac and cheese in the microwave. I don't have any running water right now, so I don't want to make something that I that I have to clean. I did get this for water for uh, coffee and rinsing other things. And I got my microwave to test out, so what's it going to be, Eric? Hmm. Yeah, I wouldn't go with this Swedish meatballs ready meal. I'm mean, going to 280 healthy calories. Yeah, <laughs> okay. I don't think this microwave got a whole bunch of use. I don't think previous owners were full timers. It looks almost brand new here. Hmm. Pop that guy in there for a minute. Well, it works. I actually tested all these. I tested all this, but you know, the refrigerator is weird. It runs great when it's plugged in, but on gas, it doesn't do so well, I've noticed. Let's see how this turned out. Hmm. Hmm. It's not all about the looks. Let's at least try it first. It's actually really good. Holy cow, that is delicious. It's like a microwave dinner but you don't need to keep it frozen or cool. It just sits in the cupboard. Hmm. Expires in 2023, so these are great. These are these are at Walmart. Little Hormel instant, not instant, but ready to eat after the microwave. Hmm, all right. Uh, luckily, there's there's no leaks in this RV. I've not found a single source of water anywhere in the fiberglass turtle top on top. So it's actually just got pe people thought these were leaks when I did my first video. This is just dirt on on the seams. It's nothing to be worried about. But yeah, I'm gonna enjoy the rain. We'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye bye.